as you can see, the shop is a complete mess. But I thought I would take a minute and build something because I have this old ammo canister. It holds 50 caliber ammo. And I was just using it for storage here in the shop. But what I've really been needing here recently is a small roll around stool that I can sit on and work on brakes on my car or work on the motorcycles or whatever the case may be. And I thought this would be a great jumping off point for that because it's already semi to the shape that I need. So what I'm basically gonna do is I happen to have found four casters here laying around the shop. They are all swiveling casters. And what I'm basically gonna do is put them on each corner and we're done. So let's get started. We're gonna clean up the metal a little bit so I can weld to it nice and simply. So I'm just gonna take and hit each edge of the casters with a grinding wheel, as well as each corner with the grinding wheel to clean up that metal. Not too bad. And because I'm spot welding, I don't really have to clean it up in every spot so that I can get perfect welds. I'm only trying to tack weld these on with about four to 10 welds. So that'll hold just fine for me. Today in the shop, we're gonna be using a MIG welder. Now this is the easiest and quickest way to do welding and the best way to learn if you want to get into TIG welding in the future or if even you just wanna start as a novice, MIG is the way to go 100%. I see some people recommend stick welding, but honestly, with a little bit of education on how to set up a MIG welder, it's gonna be more consistent and you're gonna get better welds out of it faster than you will anything else. So let's get over here and start welding. Now we're going to hit it with just a bit of black paint just to make sure that it doesn't rust too terribly bad. Just for the sake of consistency. And there you have it. sneaky suspicion that it might be a little bit flimsy. Oh! Oh! I sit on it this way. Ah yes, that seems that seems it might be better. Well that's kind of useful because now I can sit here and set tools in that right in front of myself. It's not too bad, and I bought the container for like 30 bucks from the local flea market, so it wasn't a big deal. I had already drilled a hole in it because I used it for storage in my Jeep, and it wasn't watertight anymore, so it's not good as a, uh, a gun or an ammo canister. So it, uh, it'll do just fine the way it is. I like it. And it stores nice and, stores nice and easily. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time.